Hi, this is Patricia Love back again. I'm quoting some dreams from a young lady that calls herself Believe. All right. They were both dreams. One dealt with jets, fighter jets in the sky, and bombings. The second one dealt with a black and red horse. That's the, the gist of it, real quickly. Now we get to the dreams. I'm going to tell this as if I had the dream. All right? Two eel-looking creatures were in the sky. I was trying to figure out what were they. They were pale in color, very agile. An elderly couple stepped out from the house, okay? They were looking at it as well, but they weren't taking it that seriously. They started laughing. Suddenly, to the west, I suddenly saw warplanes, fighter jet planes, and bombings. I thought to myself, this I think it's time to pray, okay? So what ended up happening was a military, as soon as I prayed, a military vehicle appeared in the sky and it released two tents that dropped down to the ground. Hmm. Anyway, when I woke up, I looked up Isaiah 54. And it basically says, enlarge the place of your tent and let them stretch forth the curtains of your habitation. Spare not. Lengthen your cords and strengthen your stakes. Well, we'll deal with the interpretation of that later. But basically, this is my two cents I'm adding to Believe's dream. Basically, as the body of Christ, we need to get ready. Because when things start breaking loose in this country, we're going to have to be able to handle the weight of the, the problems that are going on. We're going to have to be able to support people. People will be drawn to us because they want nowhere else to go. And many people will turn to the Lord as a result of what they're going through. Do you hear what I'm saying? So we have to lengthen our cords and strengthen our stakes or else we won't be able to handle the amount of people that will become running to God for help. And we need to know what to do. We need to be prayed up. We need to be strong. Strong in the Lord and in the power of His might. Amen. I will type in some notes. And I'm going to pause now because you'll be able to read those notes that she put in about what she thought some of it meant. Now we're going to go into what happened with her second dream. This was interesting. This one really caught me because I thought of the book of Revelations. All right. I was in a daycare about to start working. Many other females, daycare workers, were there as well. But most of them were miserable. They, weren't, they didn't seem to be happy with their work. And there was one woman who just continued to complain and complain, but the other women did not join in. Okay, so here we are now, change of scenery, we're at a lunch break. And a few of us are outside, and they start looking up. And as we all look, they said that what they saw happened all the time. Now, this is what they saw. They saw, this is weird, they saw fighter jets in the air. But the weird thing to me was they were so numb to its intensity. Next thing, I was in the building next door, which was kind of like a warehouse, okay? Now, this was weird. In the back was a powerful red horse. I thought, wow, how powerful and strong the horse was. And there was a trooper taking care of it. Well, he kind of looked like he had a trooper-like 
uniform. And he was brushing it and caring for it and grooming it, right? Okay, now all I saw was the torso and the rear end, and I, I could see the strength, the muscle power in that horse. It was phenomenal. But then all of a sudden, this black horse, he's wild, he's strong, he is just fighting and bucking and running wildly so he could get out of that building. And the trooper was angry that the horse had finally gotten out. Well, I woke up feeling, wow, I felt like the red horse was a preparation for war. But anyway, I'm going to pause now. Now, this is Patricia talking. I'm going to pause because what Believe said was she says she believes a lot of people need to get their hearts right with God and get saved because we're going to need him big time in these last days. And I'm going to pause and I'm going to write down on the screen what Revelation says about the horses. Pause. Okay. Now. I'm going to end. And I want you to read for yourself. This should be quite interesting. I will upload the quotation from the Bible. And I believe you'll see for yourself. This woman had a prophetic dream. She was, she was not a uh, well, um, she hadn't been saved a very long time. So a lot of these symbols she was not even aware of. So she looked at the Bible. So listen up, park up, pay attention, and pray, pray, pray. Because God is trying to get our attention. He's trying to warn us, saints. He's trying to warn those of you who don't even know God. He wants you to know him. He wants to protect you. He wants to be merciful. It is not his will that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance and have eternal life. Please, don't take this lightly. It's not a laughing matter. Amen? Amen.